Are you over -hung? Of course not. Ah, well, you should be. After all, you sucked as always do. <laughs> oh, look who's talking. Mind you, it was a good night, wasn't it? Aye. And now Muggins here's got to scrape the volivants off the new carpet. And we missed the real excitement. What excitement? Oh, what I thought you'd have heard. <clears throat> Are you all right? Yeah, fine. You're a great help at the party. Thanks. Mum said the Dingles were causing trouble outside the Woolpack last night. They were threatening Luke McAllister. Is he okay? Probably asked for it. Didn't you used to go out with him? Yeah, me and every girl between here and Leeds. Oh, a bit of a Casanova, is he? Oh, he's a dork. Not top of your Christmas card list, then. He's a dork. He's gone and got that Tina Dingle pregnant. No. Well, dork's a fair description, then. I think I'll finish working down the walls. Linda? I'm all right. Come on. You're interrupting the creative process. Oh. Go and hang the picture Eric Pollard gave us in the surgery. Oh, we'll have it in here. You can stick to adverts for worm tablets in the surgery. <laughs> it was a good party last night, wasn't it? I think people have accepted us as a couple. Of course they have. Hello, Betty. Well, you two know how to get people's backs up, don't you? What do you mean? Well, I did warn you. First stop, it were broken windows. Then that graffiti, or whatever you call it. Next, it'll be winos dossing in the village old doorway. Why? What's the matter? That filth plastered all over the place. Where? Front of your house. I think he's quite ambitious. Dave? I don't think he can see past his next pay packet. As long as he's got enough for a drink and a curry on a Friday night. I'm not criticising him. I like to see ambition. A young man with plans. No, I can't see that. No. Sorry, it's none of my business. Oh, we've always been open with each other, even through this divorce. Must have been kind of awkward for you. Or well, we're friends. Yeah, so's Dave. When you finally get your settlement, you're going to be well off. <laughs> Hardly a millionaireess. Wealthy in David Glover terms. Yes, but he was a friend when I was in a real mess. Why should it change? Now I know why I prefer working with animals. Well, a few yobs aren't the human race. Although I did think there'd be fewer of them out here. Them dingles were on the rampage last night. A scum whoever did it. Oh, it's not that big a deal. Isn't it? A broken window and now this. What next? Petrol soaked rags through the door. Well, don't let it get to you. It's just a stupid prank. You know, the Nazis had yellow stars for Jews and pink ones for people like us. That all started with this sort of thing. I wondered where you'd got to. Hey, have you seen the state of this? No, I came in the back way. I'd like to get my hands on them. Here's the brew. Don't go blaming me. You're a mother. You should be making me a cuppa. I'm in shock, I am. I'll not bother with one. Where did we go wrong? It's fate. The big finger of fate pointing down from the sky. Touches some folks, they win the lottery. When it touches us, it dumps on us. What you can do about it? And I thought you'd have learned from my big mistake. What mistake? In court with you and having to live the rest of my life in a pigsty. You don't know when you're well off. Does it hurt? No, not much. Oh, they're animals, the dingles. All of them. Don't include Tina in that. Did I mention Tina? You didn't have to. Well, I couldn't care less about her. I hope she's all right. She's pregnant with my baby. Oh, the little mother was really upset about it. That's why she told the whole village. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, it's obvious, Luke. She got pregnant to get a clause into you. You're sick. Yeah, and you're stupid if you can't see that. All I saw was Tina being dragged off by her dad. Someone must have told them she was with me. Oh, well, she probably did, to put you in the frame. You honestly think she could be that devious? Hiya. Hi. How was he going back to school? Oh, he was a bit quiet. He's quite a celebrity. Oh, he'll hate that. Oh, the other kids are bound to be curious. 
It'll be a two-day wonder. We hope. You mentioned Simpson again. Said he wondered what he'd be doing now. You know, when he was missing, I just wanted him back. I never dreamt he'd resent being here. Just give him time. I can't sit around and do nothing. I want to make it right. We need to get away from here. All of us. Away from these four walls. Away from Emmerdale. A holiday? Why not? Where? I don't know. Somewhere. Abroad. That's a bit impulsive for you, Jack Sugden. Do you think I'm clutching at straws? No, of course not. A bit of time together in a different environment. Yeah, just having fun. What about this place? I'll sort that. Oh, what about your lunch? I'm being impulsive again before it wears off. I'll see you later. Of course it's your fault. It stands to reason. But, mate, and give your brain a chance. You should have listened to me. I give that girl too much love. That's my only crime. So you've done now. You've gone and got your mother all maudlin. It's not your fault, ma'am. Thanks, love. It's me dad's. How do you work that out? It was McAllister's band ever seen her. And that's what I mean. You pussyfooted around with him. If you weren't man enough to finish him off, you should have let me and lads do it. I'll do it next time. Well, you can cut that talk out. There's enough of our family in Clink as it is. I don't want you ending up in jail with our Sam. That's right. There'll be no violence towards him. You've gone soft. Listen, Einstein, it's you that's gone soft up here. If McAllister's six foot under, he's not going to be able to pay maintenance, is he? Oh. I hadn't thought of that. It's called wisdom. You're beginning to look the dynamic young executive. <laughs> Looking the part's one thing. Sorting out these feed ratios is something else. You shouldn't put yourself down. I should think you're pretty shrewd when it comes to facts and figures. Well, no more than most. I'm sure you're giving Cathy lots of sound advice. Cathy knows what she's doing. She doesn't need anyone else to tell her. You seemed very much a couple at the party. We're just good... Good friends, yeah. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm going with Chris to see the solicitor. Problems? Yeah, Cathy's turned down the divorce settlement. See ya. And we got out to eat? No. Why? We never have out to eat. I'm too bereft, if you must know. Eh, your pay she is. What's up with you? You. That's what. Dad, tell him! What can I say, Petal? Lad's got a point. You've let us down. Let us down badly. Look at your mother. She's... what's it? Bereft. She don't know the meaning of the word. I know the meaning of you showing us all up and deceiving me of all the lads that could have put you up the spelt you had to choose him. I don't know what our Ben will be thinking. He'll be thinking you lot are a bunch of hypocrites, that's what. Now, listen, Luke McAllister is my boyfriend and you can like it or lump it, right? I don't have to do no such thing cos I'm disowning you. Zacharias, chuck her out. Dad? You've left me no choice, Flower. I'm throttling you out. Aye, on your bike. I never liked the girl, but fair dues, there'll be a struggle for her. Who's that, then? The Dingle girl. I can't understand it, me. Well, there's no mystery of the year. It goes on all the time. Does it? Well, it's nature. In my line of business, I see it all the time. Eating, sleeping, and other. Birds do it, rabbits do it. Even educated fleas do it. <laughs> well, what I can't understand is why she did it with schoolboy when she could have a real man. Oh, where would she find one of them round here? Hey, have you heard about Luke and Tina? Yes, yes, very pretty. A brand have a detrimental effect on his education. Well, what about her? Well, oh, sign of the times. Well, what happened to those days of innocence? Long time no see, Alan. <laughs> well, go on, then. How do you mean? When the gaffer buys you a pint and a butty, it's ten to one he's going to say, well, I'm sorry, Ned, it was only a temporary arrangement. I'm going to have to let you go. Have you finished? So you're doing out the goodness of your heart, then, eh? If you don't belt up, I won't say. I wondered if you'd do me a favour. <laughs> I knew you were after some that. Bit of extra money in it for you. In that case, I won't say another word now. Good. Well, yes or no will do. 
I wondered if you'd run the farm for a week or two. Isn't that wrong, is it? No, it's just me and Sarah thought it might be a good idea if we all had a holiday after everything that's gone on. Can you trust me running the show? Can't think of anyone better. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? I want to buy you a pint. You'll do it then? Of course I will. You shook my confidence when I had to give my place up. Thanks, Jack, that's all, mate. Don't need to have that. What did you tell Mum? An art project, wasn't it? You're not sure. And you and all? I don't know what you're on about. Right. Come on, whiskey's telly, please. Oh, Who was she then? Ooh, a classy bit of tail. It's not a classy bit of tail. Oh, ignore him, Alan. Who was she? No friend. Girlfriend? People need serving. What, an old flame? That Brit was a lady. Aye, she's an old. Well, she's not an old flame of yours, and all, as she said. She was one of the finest jumpers in county in her day. Mm. Lady Weir, county show jumping champion, 1960 summit. Am I right? Yes. Yes, I think you are. Well, she didn't stay long. Was she disappointed with what you turned out like? No, of course she wasn't. No, we're, we're, um, we're having luncheon together this week, as a matter of fact. Well, I'll lay out novelty dips. No, there's no need. We're going somewhere special. You're quite right, Mr Turner. <laughs> you know what they say? Never do it on your own doorstep. And I suppose you broke the windows, too? No. Did you, R. Roy? No. You did, didn't you? I knew you did. You little scumbag. Linda. That's not the answer. Oh, come on, he deserves it. So he's right. We'll call the police. It's criminal damage. We only did it for a laugh. Who's laughing? We're sorry, honest. Not just yet, Emma. You can't let them get away with it. Especially after everything you said before. Do you know how hurtful you've been? We you said we're sorry. You're too soft. Don't worry. They won't get away with it. Can I have a receipt for that? They paid the bill. It is a substantial amount. Yeah, you're not kidding. Still, I should be grateful to get anything, I suppose. What do you mean by that? When you did a moonlight, Eric. I told you, I was away on business. Yeah, and with you being so popular, I half expected to read that you'd been found at the bottom of some lake wearing concrete wellies. Oh, just give us a receipt, will you? Ah, hello, ladies. I thoroughly enjoyed your soiree. Thanks. Now, if you could pay a bit more regular in future. Scott, your mum's been wondering where you got to. Your tea's ready. All oh, right, I'll uh, just can get uh, it. Not so fast. Something the matter? Tell your dad. What have you two scallywags been up to? Vandalism. Yeah, don't go accusing my boy. I blame the parents. Well? You could have told me. I didn't know myself till last night. So what are you going to do now? Get that, Jess. I thought you'd have had more sense. Oh, thanks, mate. What on earth do you want? What's it look like? I'm moving in. To go, Jess. Look, just get lost. Jess! Look, why don't you and me just go for a drink, all right? What, so she can get her feet under the Look, table? Luke and Tina have got some talking to do. Please. Oh, and uh, have a drink on me, Auntie Jessica. We moved up here so you wouldn't get into this type of trouble. How much do we owe you for the window? <laughs> it's not a question of money. Well, they should pay for the damage. That's a bit too easy. Oh, look, you're not going to involve the law, are you? You silly sod. You're going to end up with a criminal record before you're 16. Look, please don't report it to the police. You won't do it again. Oh, really? You won't, will you, Scott? So, no police then? Not this time. Come on, Roy. Time for a home visit. Thanks for not taking it any further. I could knock your block off. What good would that do? Well, you and me working all hours, trying to build up some sort of reputation, then he lets us down like this. Haven't you thought why he picked on Zoe and Emma? It's no excuse. I know it's not. Just like there's no excuse for your stupid cracks all the time about them being lesbians. You've put it in his head that they don't deserve respect. I wonder if he could go around terrorising them. You didn't think. Neither of you. 
Well, Jack saw he could rely on you when Robert went missing. Ah, well, he was around then, wasn't he? This time I'll be on my own. It means a lot to me, him trusting me with the farm. Well, you deserve it. Things have worked out all right since we came here, haven't they? Aye. Blimey, they're arriving mob handed. Is everything all right? No. Our Roy's shown us all up. It was him who bust through his window and sprayed writing over the house. Is this right? You were Scots, I Don't start that. Well, well, what sort of writing? About Emma and me. Well, give him a good hiding, Dad. Get up to your room, Roy. Go on. Sorry, I didn't mean no. I don't know what to say. I'm... We're sorry. And he will be and all. We'll let you finish your meal. I'll see you in the morning, Linda. Yeah. Oh, I feel terrible. Well, what about me? First, my dad tries to screw up my job and then that brainless prune. Give over. It's not about you, this. But it affects me. Everyone's messing things up for me. Oh, calm down, love. This? That Tina Dingle? But what's she got to do with it? Tina and Luke. We well, can't blame us because your ex-boyfriend's gone off with somebody else, can you? No. Well, no wonder our Roy turned out a fascist. How could it have happened? Oh, you're supposed to be doing A-level biology. <sighs> We're careful. Oh, you're just like the rest of them. You think it's my fault, don't you? I'm just finding this hard to handle. Don't you want me to stay, then? Yes, of course you can. Thanks, Luke. You look like you could use a drink. Why don't you go and have a pint with Biff? I can't leave you on your own. I'm not helpless. Go on. I'll unpack this lot. Have one for me! Next time, just think what a cheap laugh costs. Yeah, all right, I'll hold my hands up. I feel dead embarrassed. Yeah, what have you done to be ashamed of, darling? Oh, nothing. Oh, but a juicy gossip, is it? No. Hey, keep your nose out, Terry, and make sure you don't cause any. Brit, may I have a word? Large whiskey, please. Yeah, you don't let a bit of sleaze upset you, Eric. Sorry? You know what you're talking about? Yeah, you've got more front than Skegness. I wonder what your tearaway son is up to whilst you're stuck in here boozing. Why do we always get pushed out as soon as she turns up? Luke and Tina have got a lot of sorting to do. <sighs> we should have nothing more to do with her, Biff. Well, what else can he do? She's being kicked out. <sighs> Even her own family have disowned her. Yeah, well, if you ask me, you're being selfish. What? She's pregnant and got nowhere else to go. What else could Luke do? It's no wonder he's in her right state. Oh, well, thank you very much for your support. Excuse me, Mr. Pollard. Um, I have to ask you to leave. Have I done something wrong? Mr. Turner said you're banned and that I've got to refund your money. Oh. Here's the manual. to do it next time I have to give one a dingle's heave ho. Is it broke? <sighs> Working all right. Turn it off. Why? Do as your mum says. We always have it on. Your mum's still upset. Turn it off. It'll cheer her up. I said switch the blasted thing off. <laughs> Now we can all be miserable. And you can button it and all. Sorry for breathing. It's all our Tina's fault, this. I don't see why I should have to suffer just cos she dropped her drawers. I said button it. I'm going, pub. Good. Are you coming? No, he's not. <sighs> I'll stay a look after you, ma. Dad. He's not going. Can he lend me a fiver, then? Give it him. Yeah. Look on bright side, Mum. You still got me. 
Yeah, the usual ladies? Please, yes. Oh, let me get them. No, it's all right, thanks. Oh, so this we can do. No, really. Look, Scott does know he's done wrong. He will do. You haven't changed your mind about the police. Worse. We thought it'd be a good idea if they both came round and cleaned up their handiwork. Under my supervision. Oh, thank you, Sir Send around in the morning, eight o'clock. So what do you think of Kim Tate? I thought you lads asked each other that kind of thing. Not like that. She seems interested in what's going on between you and me. What did you say to her? Nothing really. <laughs> Must have been a riveting conversation. I get the feeling she was implying... I don't know, I got the reasons for seeing you. And have you? Of course not. Well, I didn't think you'd be in. No, Tina said I should come cheer myself up. Yeah, well, you've come to the right place. Has it occurred to you it might not be yours? What? The baby. Could be anyone's. What are you saying? I will think about it, Luke. Will you just get off her case? Well, Jess might have a point. Don't you start. Oh, come on, she did walk into the lounge half starkers. Oh, I see, so you got her pregnant. Oh, of course not. Just leave it out, then. It's not completely impossible, though, is it, Luke? Oh, no. Have you told Robert about the holiday? No, not yet. I wanted to make sure it was definite. You thought my impulsiveness had worn off, eh? I take it it hasn't. No. It's just what we need. It'll do us good. The real reason I hung fire was... Can we afford it? We haven't got my salary coming in anymore. We'll afford it. It's important. Supposing Robert isn't that keen? <laughs> Reckon Robert will jump at the chance. Well, Florida or somewhere. Anyway, it's not just for him. It'll be like a second honeymoon for you and me. Oh, Farmer Sultan. So that's your little game, is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the slightest hint of trouble within a five-mile radius of this place and you are banned for life, right? I've only come for a quiet drink. Well, make sure it is quiet. What are you going to do if I don't? Set it all fella on me? That's right, sunshine. I don't need any help. I could chew you up and spit you out the feathers. She would an old pal. Enjoy. She's a good friend, she keeps an eye out for me, and she's well-versed in the ways of the Tates. Yeah, well, she's chosen to be one, twice. Kim's all right. She reckons I'm like one of them, help for all I can get. How are you? Did Kim say that? Well, as good as. I mean, she keeps going on about me dabbling in financial matters. No, she's seen how I've been treated by... You know who. Yeah, well, I'm not like him. Do you think it matters to me if you're worth 10p or 10 grand? Well, it's going to be a lot more than that. Well, it don't matter. How can I know that? Because I'm telling you. I'm sure you believe that now. Kim Tate's been having a go at you and all, aren't she? Oi, this is me talking. I'm just trying to be realistic. Things are bound to be different. You're going to be hounded by that lot as long as you're with her, you know? They've run away from the dingles. I don't plan to start now. That's why you said all that stuff about Tina coming on to you, isn't it? And why should I make it up? Probably because you think you're doing me a favour, hoping I'll ditch her. I'm not that clever. All I know is you're messing up your life. <laughs>